yeah i have a little bit of cleanup to do <clears throat> i've never been good at coloring so Welcome back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wing. And today we're doing something that I'm very excited about. We're going to be trying Simply Now Logical's Hollow Taco First Anniversary Collection. Inside there's three colors, gold, blue, and purple flaky hollow tacos. And I'm super excited for this. She came out with this to celebrate her first anniversary for her brand Hollow Taco. And I have also picked up a few other things. I've picked up two of her original silver flaky hollow tacos and the unicorn skin taco and so we're going to try them all together i haven't opened anything i've literally just taken it out of the box and made sure everything was still there and so let's go ahead and start okay today we're going to be giving ourselves manicures and we have some dark base coats from sir colors we have a midnight cowboy which is blue and Memento Mori, which is black. Um, which one do you want? Black. Cool. So let's go ahead and open the box. This is what it looks like inside. We have the gold, the blue, and the purple. And these go on top of a dark base coat, like blue or black, and show up really well. So let's take these out. And you want to open that one? So this is the other one. It's a... This is the unicorn skin. Yeah. And these are the two original flaky tacos. So we'll get started with a base coat. Yep, I have this one here from Super Chic Lacquer. And I really like this one because it's supposed to prevent staining. I think the only thing I wish was that I didn't trim my nails down before doing this video. Completely forgot that we were doing this. Okay. I usually leave my nails long if it's not basketball season and we've been in quarantine for so long that it hasn't been basketball season for months now. So the base coat is really simple. We're just applying it and then we're capping the tip which means we're painting a little bit underneath the nail as well and that's just to kind of seal in the paint and making sure there's no split there and it won't chip as easily. So once we've gone ahead and applied the base coat we can apply the color and we choose darker colors just because it shows up better. For this one which is the unicorn skin, the, it will show up as is in the bottle if you put it over white, but if you put it over black or some dark color, it'll shift to more of a purple. So I'm really excited to try that one. I'm usually pretty lazy when it comes to my nails. I go through phases where I'll paint my nails every single week and then phases where I can't be bothered to do so. Mm -hmm. This is the phase I'm in where I can't be bothered to do so because we're stuck at home, I can't go anywhere anyway, so there's zero point in me caring. And then I just like to change my nails up every week. I think it's a little wait for me to unwind from a week of work and I really actually do enjoy painting my nails, so usually just put on some Netflix probably the only time I actually watch anything and just have it in the background while I paint my nails. Yeah, I do the Netflix without painting my nails. The good thing about applying nail polish is if you're new to this, uh, flaky or any hollow top coat but is really good at hiding imperfections. And so if you're messy or you kind of paint with bubbles, you can easily hide that, so I kind of like that about it. It's very easy for beginners to get started into 
cleaning their nails, even if they don't have a steady hand or they paint outside the line. You can always clean that up with acetone and a cleanup brush, which is just a flat brush. And then you can just throw on some flakes on top and it'll hide everything that you messed up. Yeah, I haven't painted in the lines in a while, so I'm a little bit messy today. So this is how you clean up your messes. You pour a little acetone into the lid, and then you grab a flat tip brush and open it. Dip it into the acetone, and all you're gonna do is go around the edges of your nails and kind of like run your brush against it and it will straighten out your edges yeah I have a little bit of cleanup to do <clears throat> I've never been good at coloring so I feel like art has never been my forte but that's the good thing about this this is pretty forgiving you can mess up and fix it, fix it. it's not permanent I really like Cirque colors for a lot of their polishes. They do really fun ones and they self-level, which means if you kind of apply more in one part of your nail, it'll kind of level itself out. Of course, there's a guy cutting his grass. Yeah, so if you hear a little bit of noise, that's what it is. We will do our best to even it out or balance it out, but paint all over my skin. <laughs> Oops, like how did I get on the call? <laughs> I don't know, but I got some. So I prefer to clean up my nails before I go ahead and apply top coat. Maybe that's a preference thing, I don't know if it's right or wrong. But that's what I like to do. So we've just cleaned up our nails, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the top coat. And then we'll play with all of these. I think what's really cool about this polish set or the topper set is the fact that they're holographic and it's not something you often see. And just looking at the bottle, you can see that they're very dense. They did not skimp out on the flakes at all. Yeah. And the reason, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but they're limited edition, so the box is already sold out. But the individual polishes were still in stock the last time I checked. Uh, and I think that they do a great job at packing this in with a whole ton of the flakes. And these have shards of flakes in it. I like the flaky kind of hollow, which is what it's called. And so they did it like shards, and they're not even shards, and that kind of just adds to the whole look, so it's not so uniform. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go first with purple, and I'm gonna do the accent nails. I think my favorite's gonna be the purple. I don't know yet, but I think mine is too. Purple is always a really nice color. And it's actually really hard to make purples. I've been told. I mean, I don't make them, but I've been told. Oh, it applies like butter. Yeah, it's very easy. A very easy application. Yeah, so you can make them as sparse or as dense as you want just by applying one more coat or something like that. Or you can even sponge it on. Uh, I've seen people do it on reviews they sponge it on to just get full opacity but i kind of like having the blue shine through on my nails so yeah, yeah it's super easy application you know we're flying through this it is a flat tip brush I don't know if your preference is that. A lot of people like the wider brushes, but this is the narrow kind. 
which I don't mind. I think it does take a little more practice to use, but it is not a difficult application. So while she's doing that, I'd like to just comment and say that I really, really like this stuff. They did a really good job on the packaging. The caps are matte and it has a nice premium feel. It's really weighty. So it feels like, you know, they put a lot of thought into all of this. And then as for application, it's really smooth. It goes on well. Yeah. The application is great. It's so easy. I've never, I feel like normally with glitter toppers, you kind of have to either apply a bunch of coats or it just kind of comes out really clumpy. This was none of those. Yeah. It, it was super easy to apply. One coat is already pretty dense and I didn't have to apply a second coat and it never was clumpy. It just kind of applied really smoothly. Mm -hmm. So I think we are now done. So this is what our nails look like, but it's very easy application. I don't know how to color in the lines and it still looks great. Yeah, I highly recommend this product. Again, it is limited edition. And the last time I checked, these three were still in stock. These have been restocked, but these, once they're gone, they're gone forever. And that's just due to the fact that it's really hard to source the flakes from what I've been told. So, I do recommend this and I think you should try it. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth the money that you have to pay for it. And it's a great quality polish topper. With that said, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get to see our next videos. And as always, let us know what you should try next. On Twins Try. Bye. Bye.